Yay. Oh, a heads up, this is written from first person perspective. <laughs> I think not. Hmm, 10 out of 10, best effect. Yeah. Sorry, Arrow. That, well, that's it. He's been vaping this entire time. <laughs> See, he is vaping! Oh, heads up. Yeah, your character is Axel. I should have probably explained that in the first place, because this bloody novel doesn't explain it until right now. It makes no sense, man. <laughs> or something. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Totally. <laughs> no, it's clouds. No, this one's clouds. We're good. Not vaping. Bingo. It, it's a cliche where if you hit your flashlight enough, it'll turn back on. <laughs> no, they're hitting the flashlight. <laughs> Don't you have at least one flashlight? It'd be fine. Everything, but nothing. Poopy. Da, 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 da. It was a deer! <laughs> it's a kitty! How do you know it's female? Oh. Oh, that, that, that explained it. Okay. Hush. It's assumed. Deal with it. Oh my lord, I have to do something. So enjoy. October 31st? Excuse me? What?
It's not October 31st. It's October 31 TH. What? Ah, translation errors. We. Far were the memories when I was a kid and went out with my friends to ask for sweets from house to house. Totally nothing could happen. But whatever. Just remember it made me sigh. I feel nostalgic. Some things were better when I was a child. Or at least it seems like that. Those were some... There were some who had good costumes. Whether they're of superheroes or monsters. My friends and I, on the other hand, had to use our imagination. Creativity is our costume, you could say. No matter how funny it could sound. I remember that my mother once painted red on my face and told me, You will be a, the devil. But it seems only she had it that way. When we went from home to home, everyone said I was the Tomato Man. Da -da -da -da. Tomato Man. Now it's available on PSN. It's like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. It's Tomato Man. Jesus. But those things didn't matter to me since I always had the, a good time. Enough of the lips is jeez. If I had asked for candy now, even if... I had the best costume, I'm sure no one would give me anything. Except perhaps a scolding for acting like a child when I'm 17 years old. But anyway, I can't stay in the past. I must live in the present, no matter how little exciting that may be. Enough of the lipses, jeez. Back into reality. We are a group of friends who don't have any plans for today. We are still not old enough to go to a disco. And I doubt guys as us would have any luck in that environment. The other option would be go to a party, meet girls, and have fun. Everything perfect, except that nobody has invited us. Not being popular has its disadvantages. Hey Axel, we have a couple matches. What do you say? My friend Steve- Fucking damn it, I called it! <laughs> you see, called my attention Steve. while playing with a game console. Rush Red. I believe that's what Rush Red. I believe that's what the game is called. A fast and quite complicated fighting game for me. I would normally agree to play with him, but for some reason I don't feel in the mood today. I have no desire to play right now. I replied with disencouragement. I almost feel bad for doing it. Boring. The air is no rival for me. Stephen said with confidence. <laughs> That you're playing on normal difficulty does not help your argument. I don't feel like losing, and if you want, and if you want, you can challenge to Alf. Wait, what? Speech 100, right there. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't feel like that. losing, but if you want, you can challenge to Alfred. Okay. I said, leading the attention to my other friend, Alfred. Okay. Um, so we have Al I don't know how to play uh, that. Alfred, uh, Axel, and, and Steve. Steve. <laughs> and Steven. Answered Alfred okay. without downing for a question. He was sitting behind the PC, but it seems that he isn't doing anything interesting. The screen only shows a lot of text. I think he is in uh, Wikipedia. Hey, don't Hashtag you have anything sponsored. more fun to do? Yeah, who just... Well, I guess if you're doing like a study group, I guess that kind of makes sense, but... Hashtag not sponsored. What are they doing? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I asked with disencouragement, without even thinking about what he was reading. Efforts looks at me surprised. The actual problem of society is that people are not interested in discovering their history. He was one of those pseudo-intellectuals, always looking at for any rare information that, to appear smarter than others. Oh, fuck. When we forget our past mistakes, we are doomed to repeat them. He added later. Later. What are you talking about? This village is small, and its story is nothing inter not interesting at all. Nothing outside of the normal has ever happened to it, in it. Alfred la laughs mockingly after hearing that. Your ignorance is worthy of praise. He pauses, filling his chest with pride. The very fact is... It is... A small town is the reason it's full of mysteries. Did you know that 20 years ago, on this day, a man disappeared? So, what about it? I ask without being impressed or even interested in the least. Things like that happen all the time in all places. As I thought, you don't know the history despite living in this very place, Alfred said while adjusting his glasses in an ignorant, arrogant gesture. 
This guy would never be my friend. Because <laughs> he'd be me! <laughs> there is a legend behind the disappearance. That is what I was reading. After listening to him, I looked back at the computer scene, screen with curiosity. Can you please show it, though? It's then that I notice it's not a Wikipedia, but some other page. Creepypasta? Come on, read this and learn a little. Alfred said, inviting us to read what was on the screen. Both Steven and I moved closer to read it. Is it fucking Creepypasta or some shit? Oh, no. no. Okay. That Town of true. Abingdon, Oxfordshire County, 1994. Okay, so the offense of this game is 2014. I can't... Yeah. Well, it depends. I came to this town with only 4,000 inhabitants to support them in an investigation. Truth is, is that I never in my life have I seen something this strange. I won't say your typical detective-ish nonsense that I have seen thousands of strange things in my life. I have seen many crimes, yes, some difficult to solve, but all of them were human. Even if you don't know how they managed to perpetrate treat the crime, you know that they are people like anyone else. In this case, I don't think I'm able to say the same thing. Truth is that I don't un I don't I can't understand what happened. That's always nice. I was called for the disappearance of a man named Matthew Graham. 23 years, single. The last time he was seen was returning home from a Halloween party. He had drank alcohol, when, but he was, but was still sober. Or at least that's what the witnesses said. Anyway, this is not something which can be explained with a simple drunkenness. He apparently got lost on the way home and decided to enter the forest called Oakwood. Wow, original name there. It had rained it's yesterday, so the ground was wet and muddy. Oh, sorry. Top, it's top tier levels of original. Yeah, really original there, guys. We could easily trace, find his traces, which were leading deep inside the forest. Apparently, he walked for three hours before stopping. Eh, that's fair. But why in the forest? I say stop, but the truth is we don't know what happened to him. The tracks suddenly ended up in a clearing in the forest, and that's all. There is no evidence of struggle, no other trace, or pieces of clothing on the ground. There is no blood. No more footprints, or anything else. The depth of his last footprints and the position they were indicate in indicated that he was still walking. No point he stood still. As if he had vaporized in the air, with all of his clothes, in the middle of his walk. Obviously, I couldn't believe such a thing. But I can't give any uh, another explanation. The only thing I remember is that... Near the footprints, I sense a faint smell of rot. However, there were no animal corpses nearby. It is ridiculous to think he suddenly started to decay and became Earth. In the end, the case was closed in just three days. With no evidence of any kind, we couldn't say anything but that he decided to escape from the village. However, we officially, while officially there was no more to do, I couldn't sleep in peace, thinking that about what could have happened to him took me away, took away my sleep. In my mind, I thought all sorts of theories. Like maybe everything was a plan developed by Matthew, but in the end, they all seemed impossible. I decided to investigate more on the issue. I searched the town for similar stories, and to my surprise, I found four more. All young men. The story w was always the same. They walked into the forest alone, disappearing without trace. Even more curious is that all of them disappeared on the same day. October 31st. But there is more. A detail that completely eliminates the possibility that there's a killer or a kidnapper behind this, and that this, and that is the separation of the years. Roger Bacon disappeared in 1924. Mitchell Smith disappeared in 1867. Jason Black disappeared in 1813. And worst of all, Oswald Oswald Taylor disappeared in 1707. It simply couldn't be possible. My curiosity led me to dig deeper. I thought that the answer may be in the past of the forest. It was simple when I discovered that what seemed to be simple and boring forest actually did hi hide a great story. Before it was called 
Oakwood, or Oaks Forest, the place was called Wickwood. The word witch had a huge similarity with witch. Oh, it's pronounced witch, okay. Taking into consideration that is an old name and language changes over time, it that indicates that it was the Forest of Witches. Apparently, more than 400 years ago, the people of the village believed witches lived in the woods. Unfortunately, almost all of the information is already lost. Of course it is. What kind of horror game is not missing information? Precisely. There were stories told in voice, without a properly written record. I just know that with the change of religion to Christian, people stopped seeing the witches with good eyes and began to hunt them. Apparently the last one before her death cast a curse on the forest, which even today should continue to exist. Anyway, obviously I cannot accept something like that as an answer. As the answer. Whatever. I'm just gonna improvise on the text so that's easier. In the end, I have no other choice than accepting that each one of them escaped from the village, using the legend of the forest to make it look like it was something supernatural. What if it is? Ooh, spoopy! Yeah, interesting story. Same, dude. I didn't know that such a th story was hiding in this town. I said, honestly surprised. Even if it w is a lie, it managed to hold my interest. Wait, there is something more. Alfred said at the same time he scrolls to the comments. We read what was written there. A couple of d comments caught our attention. Both of them talk about the san some creature. At that time... We felt They felt a horrible fear for what could happen to them. Well, the two comments share great similarities, but they could have been written by the same person. There are many others that deny it. Looks like many people went to the forest because of the legend, but couldn't find anything. More ellipses. Ooh, I thought you could only read these things to look more cool before the girls, replied Stephen as a joke. Alfred giggles with a little shame. Partly, yes. <laughs> True. He admitted it. That was a secret everybody silently knew. Well, well. Now we have an activity for tonight. Stephen said at the same time. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it, Stephen. This is all your idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. Stephen's fucking idea. Let's take a. Br I'm gonna take my break on voice, cause Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. World novels. So far, it looks like there's obviously like witches of some kind, hence the cat. So. <gasps> Who would have guessed? <gasps> I never would have seen that. Maybe you should have looked at the achievements beforehand. I did. Maybe it's because there's two girls in the game. And no shit. <laughs> I know that much. And huh, what's on the thing? Okay, I'm gonna stop. But overall, I'm guessing that uh, what is it? Obviously, the two friends are gonna die. Maybe and if so, they consider. are evil. And if they don't, well, if they don't, they're evil. Or turn insane, or some shit like that. I've seen and heard too many horror games and played enough Cthulhu to know, well, that probably is going to happen. Okay. Just, uh, fair predictions of the future. <clears throat> Let's write those down then. Okay. Steven said that the. S s bleh, fuck. Steven said at the same time he makes a face overflowing with enthusiasm. Wait, what? <laughs> I asked completely lost. I thought they were we were talking we were just killing time. Simple, let's go to that forest. Stephen replied without hesitation. He seemed very fascinated by the story. Are you insane? said Alfred, unable to believe what he just heard. You only needed to look at his face to know he did not like the idea. Despite everything you heard, you want to go you want to go? Of course. It would be a test of courage among us three, replied Stephen, Lightning. full of confidence. You gonna finish that? 
No, there's just lightning. Oh, okay. Perhaps too much, he should relax a bit. But yeah, I should mention that right now, during recording, it's actually raining, so... Yeah, it's not just German. It's spooky Perfect atmosphere, so if you hear it, just imagine it's the game. Spooky. Don't tell me you're afraid. No, I... No, why should I be afraid? Answered Alfred at the same time, he folds his arm, making a false gesture, gesture of security. It's more obvious that you're afraid, Alfred. Almost as much as when you have to talk with a girl. Oof. Ooh, ouch. Got him. And what about you, Axel? Don't tell me you won't come. Suddenly, Stephen asks me at the same time, looking at me mockingly. Don't tell me you want to be the chicken of the group. I hate that tone of voice he used. I will never give you that. I said without thinking, showing a confident smile and look. Well, let's no, don't say do it! <laughs> well, let's not say more. Take your coats, backpacks, flashlights, and some food. We're going to the forest. Stephen said full with energy. Yeah! We three said in unison, as if we were going to have some kind of private party. They're going to, they're going to go there to do indecent acts. That's why this gave us sexual... <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's not it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe after I'll include the uh, Steam page or whatever. Well, actually, I'll leave the Steam page in the description, throw, obviously. Yeah, throw it in the description. That might be a good idea. If it's not there, I'll scold him. Yep. <laughs> Yell at me. Not really knowing what we were doing or what we were going to find. 2.13 a.m. Pacific time. Pacific. Oh, I awake, son, completely confused. Wow, what great timing. Not knowing how much time had passed. My head hurts like hell, but I can't blame it. Fortunately, the pain goes away just as my confusion. Soon I come back to my senses. My flashlight is laying on the ground, shining towards the empty air. I immediately pick it up, as it was my only protection against the darkness that surrounds me. Then I remember what's that Stephen and Alfred were with me. Why couldn't you just say, like, their actual name instead of just, quote, friend? Well, no, they, at the time they were friend. But, why not just have the backstory before? I know it's to set it up, but come on. No, no, we have that backstory in the middle of the introduction. No! <laughs> at least have, like, some, like, I don't know. Then I remember that Steven and Alfred were with me. Steven? Alfred, can you hear me? Without thinking, I screamed their names in the dark, but trying to find them with my flashlight. But there's no trace of them. They were gone. Where the hell are they? And what the heck just happened? I really don't understand anything. Amnesia? Shit. We should have just stayed home. This is not a proof of courage. We could be in danger. No shit, Sherlock. What made you think this is a test of courage? Yeah, let's go in the middle of the forest in the middle of the night. What could go wrong? I have to find them. 2.19 a.m. Wow. Uh, Central District Time. Central District. <laughs> <laughs> Little time has passed since I looked around. Uh, I started to look for my friends, and I already can't stand this place. I'm going crazy in this forest. The darkness that covers it is unnatural. It is a darkness that steals your own sanity, replacing it with anxiety. To make it worse, the air is damp and cold as in winter, carrying a strong rot smell. Yeah. Mm. As if there are corpses of animals hidden throughout the forest. The atmosphere in this place is oppressive with every step you take. It's because Steve is outside the forest blowing it in his vape. God damn it. <laughs> Just make that the ongoing joke. Alfred's a fucking low-key stoner while Steve is a fucking vape. The atmosphere in this place is oppressive. With every step you take, it makes you more uncomfortable. Since I started to look for my friends, I felt that something is watching me. But there's nothing. Maybe there is. I sigh with my voice full of frustration. <laughs> Maybe there is, I sigh. Whoa. I just want to get out of here. I continue walking, devoid of any hope. No matter where I look or how much I walked, I find nothing. 
I cannot even hear the sounds of animals. Rather, it seems they are already dead and rotting. No, I have to calm myself, I said to myself. I stopped for a moment to rest. I breathe deeply, but the rotten air of this place does me no good. I immediately start to cough. Immediately I start to cough, as if I had something struck, stuck in my throat. Shit, shit, shit! What am I going to do? The cursed forest seemed endless. And even if by some miracle I could escape, and I could escape, I cannot abandon Stephen and Alfred. They're assholes! You can totally abandon them. Dude, why not? We only met them for like ten minutes. I are, I'm really screwed up. Again, I sigh, feeling on the verge of tears. My frustration is building up, but I have to do my best to keep calm. If I fall into despair, then there is no doubt I will be joining the list of missing persons. You already did. Lol. Correct. <laughs> In the end, I decided to keep walking. Step by step, I should get somewhere. At least I was convinced that staying in the same place would do me would not do me any good. Even if it was only to deceive myself, feeling that I am doing something, I wanted to continue walking. Time passes without any changes. Only the sound of my footsteps can be heard. Knowing that as soon as you stop, you'll be surprised by a dead silence is a good incentive to keep walking. But my legs were already hurting. Suddenly I hear a crack at my feet. I instantly step back and look below to see uh, below to see what made that sound. What is this? I whispered to myself, discovering that I stepped on an animal bone. I believe that it's from an animal. Although I do not rule out the possibility that it belongs to a person. But for my own good, I prefer not to think about that. Yeah, you shouldn't think about that. An expression of anguish is drawing on my face. It is best to ignore it. I have to keep walking. Suddenly, my flashlight reveals something. Without hesitation, I point towards there again. Kitty! Hi, cat. Only to realize that the surprise that is the white cat. The one from before which made that awful meow. But this time, I found it lying on the ground. It appears to be fainted and wounded. But then what should I do? Okay. Oh, Save. shit! If you can't save, uh, right-click, and it'll give you your save option button. Oh, wait. Okay, thanks. Uh, I would recommend every time uh -oh. you get you get a Exception choice. Exception occurred. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. Um. What? <laughs> Exception has occurred. Well. Uh. Uh, well, well, if we have that problem, then pick an option. Uh, leads to additional, uh, trace back, no. Roll back a prior time allowing you to save or choose, it. okay. Um, can I just... Yeah, if you have to, just, just use your mouse wheel to get to a, a point you like, and then, uh, try and save there. I'm just gonna use rollback, okay. What should I... Okay, thank yeah. you. There you go. Right click. Uh... There we go. Okay, now okay, it works. There we go. There we okay, go. we figured out how to save. Whee! Okay. So you have the options of ignoring the cat or pick her up. Mm, this is a hard option, actually. No, this is the very first option. <laughs> As you can pick tell. up the kitty. You want to pick it is her best up? to continue without waking her. That cat is dangerous. It's her fault that. Wait, what? I picked pick up, not leave her alone. No, no, trust me, you're you're good. The cat is dangerous. It's her fault that I ended up in this place, and my friends are missing. But even knowing that, for some strange reason, I can't help but feel sorry for her. It's a kitty. Even if it is unnatural, it is still an animal. I then bend down to see her closer. She is unconscious, and there's a thin line of blood coming from her mouth. Yeah. I'm a real idiot. I said to myself at the same time, I clean the blood from her mouth with a convenient handkerchief in my little pocket that I had with me. Fortunately, she doesn't wake up. She's dead! No. <laughs> I then close her mouth, making her 
appearance a little better. Now she seemed to be sleeping peacefully. Yay. After a long sigh, I decided to pick her up carefully. I don't know what the current powers of this cat are, but if she brought me here, maybe she can return me to my world. With her in my arms, I decided that the best thing I can do is to continue walking. 2.31 a.m. British Standard Time. I'm going to consistently make those jokes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Again, I find myself in the forest, walking aimlessly. Only moving forward, but it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. In my arms, I carry the cat, which sleeps soundly. You want to do this voice? Since I think you're Come blind. here. Here you'll be safe. Oh, no. Suddenly, I stop. It was probably easy to see the disbelief on my face at that moment. It's that voice again. I whispered myself with no one to listen to me. Shortly after I found the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my head. It is a feminine voice, soft and gentle, as if it belonged to a princess from a fairy tale, but I can't trust it. Good job. Am I really going crazy, or is this forest that doesn't make any sense? I don't know, but I don't like any of the two options. I then but feel the, third, the cat move both. in my arms. <laughs> I look down at her confused, just to see how she opens her red eyes suddenly. More ellipses. I become quiet at that instant. For a moment, the two stayed motionless, staring into the eyes of the other. The red eyes of the cat are disturbing to me, but also there is something fascinating about them, something that attracts me. I lose myself in her eyes as if hypnotized. Till suddenly she jumps with the attention of scratching my face. Ah! <laughs> my reflex is pushing her. At the same time, I jump back, turning my head to dodge her claws. I managed to dodge her attack, but in the process, I dropped my flashlight. I panicked and acted clumsily. The flashlight falls near me, lining up a, near a tree in the vicinity. As soon as it left my hands, I remember how dense this abnormal darkness is. I quickly pick it up, not even thinking before taking action. I then light the place where the cat was, only to discover she arched her body angrily as if she feared an attack from me. Those red eyes stare at me, shining with the flashlight as if they were jewels, reflecting a fear, uh, fearsome hatred and rejection towards me. My body freezes after seeing them. I can't even think. The cat then lets out a thunderous meow similar to the one before, but weaker although not any less frightening. There is no doubt there is something wrong with that animal. It must be cursed. Everything is her fault. She must be some kind of evil spirit, a pet of the witches. Hmm. I wonder. I feel how, pa I feel how panic seizes me. What? It's another speech 100 phrase right there. <clears throat> My heart beats quickly, begging me to do something. My mouth is dry. Yeah, let me just, uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeez! And my forehead is covered with cold sweat. What should I do? All right, scroll back up. Make another save. <laughs> yep, I'm making this on a separate one. Yeah, okay. I recommend it. Escape the cat or confront the cat. Pick your option. I know it tried to kill it before, but I'm just going to confront it. Ooh, confronting the cat. No, I should not despair. I have to calm down and think carefully of what I should do. With that in mind, I take a deep a breath deep, a deep breath, whatever, and look again at her. Soon the expression in my eye changes from fear to courage. It's just a cat. I realize that it's only a cat without a doubt a strange one, but my life is not actually in danger. That isn't a tiger staring at me, but a simple cat. A white cat with red eyes, but eh. Albino. It's albino. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's an albino cat. There you go. Apparently, her only power are those weird meows. If she could kill me, she could, would have already done it. So I rule out that possibility. Her work must be transporting the next victim to this area of the forest, so unnatural and shady. After filling up my lungs with air, I slowly walk towards the cat. 
oh my god, the picture got bigger. Her meows <laughs> get louder with every step that I don't, but I don't let them scare me. Aww. Seeing that, I do not turn back. She shyly takes a... She, I do not turn back. She shyly takes a step back. In my mind, I smile at that image. The prey is now the hunter. I look at her directly while advancing. Little by little, little her meows become weaker, as if she's losing strength. Pet the kitty. Then I suddenly jump and take her into my, in my hands. She hardly resists at all. Not so tough now, right? You look better like this. She's trembling in my hands. She looks so helpless that I almost feel like a villain. But I must not forget all that she has done so far. Nice, uh, error there. It's her fault that I'm in a place <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, it semi-cold. That's right. <laughs> she brought me here. Then I would kill her. She brought me here, then if I kill her, would it be possible to go back? For a moment, that grim idea crossed my mind. I had never killed an animal. Truth is that I can't be proud of myself in doing such a thing. But if I do, maybe this legend can end here and now. Then what should I do? Save. No! I'm not! That's just no! No! So you just want to keep her captured no, then? No, I'm not doing that. I'm keeping her captured. It's just rude. Okay. It's only logical. The magic should die along with the cat. That should... Don't. That should be my ticket back. If I kill her, everything would be over tonight and the legend could, would come to an end. Confident that would be for the best, I try to view it in my mind. But no matter how hard I force myself to see it, in the end, I'm unable to take the life of another living being. No shit. Even if it is a cursed cat serving a witch, I don't feel good killing her. I think I'm too nice for my own good. So the only thing that remains is to keep her with me, hoping that sooner or later she allows me to escape. With nothing more to think about, I decide the best thing to do is to continue my path. Just make her a good kitty. 241. 241 AM, Japan Standard Time. Japan. Enough with the time zones. You're gonna <laughs> run out eventually. I'm gonna randomly do different time zones, and you can't stop me. You're gonna run out of them eventually. And Give then up. I'll just start using the big. I'll use the daylight versions. It's daylight. <laughs> Fuck's sake. How many time zones are there? Like 20? Like. More than that? <laughs> There's 24 minimum, plus the additional ones. I think it's 20. Plus, yeah, 20. So 40. Jesus tw Christ. 24. You're not gonna go through plus all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that have different extras. So there's 20, uh, 29 oh different God. time zones. And I'm sure there isn't that many You're time You're going to have to get through some weird ones if we go through like 24 Excuse me. of this. We have, to, we have to double it because we have to count the daylight times too. Yeah. All right. It's been a few mo minutes since I captured the cat. Again, I feel myself walking with her in my arms, led by a, the strange voice. How long could I have been walking in this forest? Apparently not enough to make me go mad, but it should be close. Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will help you. The voice sounded closer this time. It seems that I am going right in. I'm going in the right direction. I don't fully trust in it, but it's the best I have. At least at first glance, it seems like a friendly voice. Is it? Is it really? Well, they, Just hear you a voice in your head. Out. It should be fine. Yes. I'm completely focused on my way. When I suddenly feel something bite me. Maybe the cat? Ugh, what the heck? I shout in pain, realizing that the cat bit my arm. Yeah. Duh. Fortunately, it wasn't a dangerous bite, but it sure was painful. Kitty. My my distraction, she takes the chance to jump from my arms, falling a few steps away from me. Suddenly I set my gaze upon her furious, but soon something happens that makes me forget about my anger. Suddenly the cat is covered with a bright light, so much that it repels the unnatural darkness surrounding the forest, stealing my breath. She's a god, Kitty! Under the light, its figure gradually changes until it ceases to be a cat and becomes a human figure. 
Nani! Your Pokemon's evolving! Oh. It's a grill with purple, but uh, purple, no, <laughs> silver hair! It's not purple hair. Lies! <laughs> no longer is there a cat in front of me, but a girl with incredible beauty. I really m must really be going crazy. Yeah! She has white hair and red eyes. Ooh. Okay, then. She seems to be about my age. And also the only one with an actual picture. In other circumstances, uh, I would have asked her out without hesitation. Just thinking about it makes me laugh to myself in my mind. No, it's just a cat. You know. Totally nothing She's wrong. a Neko! <laughs> no, she's not. She's just... Can trans, like, transform into one. It's basically just a, yeah, she's a werewolf Neko. cat. It's just a werecat! <laughs> Even at the edge of madness, it seems like some things about me nev will never change. She slowly approaches us. Uh, she approaches slowly towards me, one step at a time, with no fear. The girl then stares into my eyes with a slightly irritated face. Her lips are moving. She seems to be saying something, but I'm unable to hear a sound. Are you trying to tell me something? I babbled, still confused, with a face of disbelief, which surely made me look stupid. Ellipses. Said the girl in a very low voice. I do not understand what she's saying. What? I can't hear you well. I asked, still confused. Suddenly, the girl pouts in a bad mood. Want to do the honors? <coughs> What's wrong with you? Are you deaf? Finally, I could hear her clearly. And just in time, it, because it seems her patience is about to run out. Okay, okay, now I heard you. I said, annoyed. All my astonishment just from just a se few seconds ago disappears when I see out the arrogant attitude of the girl. Whoa. <laughs> How real. Sometimes it's actually pretty real, but meh. <laughs> Take it from me, fucking loner. At least now I don't think she'll bite me, I hope. The girl then snorts with irritation. What an annoying guy I had to find. She said at the time, she places a hand on her lips, making a pensive face. Wait, you shouldn't speak ill of someone you have right before you. I was quick to respond. For a moment I felt annoyed at the thought that I have to teach manners to the spirit, or whatever she is. I pity you that that's a pity so much beauty wasted on someone so arrogant. Jesus, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the girl let out a snort of annoyance before you're hearing me. I'm so... It's a bad habit that I can't quit. Oof. She answered without sounding very repentant. Clearly a false apology. After talking, she diverts her gaze towards the surroundings as if she was bored. I see. I replied annoyed. I just met her and I already feel like I don't like her. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I must not forget who this girl is. She was the cat that started it all. Anyway, at least could you tell me why you attacked me and my friends? I asked shortly after, acting more seriously. The greetings were over, it's time to get to the important stuff. And why did you bite me if I wasn't doing anything? Well, technically captured, but whatever. Before I knew it, my lips were asking another question. I cannot lie, I was angry. The girl then stares at my face. She blinks with curiosity before speaking. Does it hurt? The wound? She asked innocently. Yes. I was quick to respond with annoyance. I didn't need to say more. Of course it hurts, silly cat. She looks at me in silence for a few seconds until suddenly she approaches me without any shyness or fear. On second thought, how could a simple human such as me scare a cat that could turn to a person? Show me your wound. Oh no. Said the girl once she stood right next to me. Her presence made me nervous. This, this girl seemed to not know what personal space is. Maybe because she's a fucking cat person? Yeah. I don't know. A little off there, but pretty close. Still. As embarrassing as it sounds, I had never had a girl this close. If only it wasn't in the, this forest. Ooh, got him. 
I didn't know why I should trust her, but strangely, something tells me that she has no bad intentions. The girl is surrounded by a calm aura, something pure unlike anything else in the front. In the end, resigning myself with a sigh, I show her my arm in the bite, with the bite. Immediately, the girl sets her sight on my wound. It will only take a moment. She said with complete confidence. Then she looks up into my... She looks up into my eyes. Up. Could you close your eyes? The... She asks as she blushes slightly. Mmm. Okay. I'm surprised to see that embarrassed face she has, even if it was just a little. Then I sighs, feeling something wasn't right, but there was... There is nothing else I can do. Okay. I said, doing as she asked. I didn't know what to expect. For a moment, I thought she would get naked or something like that. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, what kind of magic can work only when you have no clothes? I don't know, but my mind sure wanted to imagine that. Fuck's sake. Come, come on, Axel. That's about keep as your composure. sexual as this is going to get. I know. Suddenly, I feel something warm and wet touch my wound. Immediately, I shudder. Wait, what are you doing? It's a stupid question because I knew well what she was doing. She was licking my wound. Fuck's sake. You idiot! You Who idiot. said you could watch? You could watch. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> was quick to respond the cat. With her cheeks and red in an embarrassment and her lips still close to my wound, she looked adorably troubled. Don't you see that I'm, I'm just trying to heal you? She then added in a bad mood. <laughs> I... Sorry, <laughs> I said, blushing. I thought you would do something more extraordinary. Now I'm not sure. Is she a girl who can transform into a cat, or a cat that can become a girl? Both! My god! <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Not being extraordinary enough. It's a plot twist. She's actually her real identity. She could is a dog that could transform into a cat and a person. <laughs> <laughs> Murmured the girl at the same time. She gives me an annoyed look, red eyes shining with disgust. Well then, it is then that I realize that the pain has disappeared. With curiosity, I look where the wound was, only to discover that there was no now there was no trace of it. For a couple of seconds, I stay silent and credulous. Incredulous. Incredulous, whatever. <laughs> that your treatment worked. I finally said grateful, still looking at the spot. But of course, I have experience healing myself. Oof. Okay, then. Answered the cat, closing her eyes and inflating her chest to show her pride. Is that really it? Okay. I appreciate... I actually appreciate what she did, but I still wonder if she really had to lick it to cure me. Probably. I understand, but who are you? The girl makes a small snort with curiosity after hearing my question. Then she tilts her head and closes her eye, making a thoughtful face. It seems I have not presented myself. She opens her eyes and gazes into mine. I am the first protagonist! My name is Ashley. Ashley! Da, 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 da. Okay, sorry. Wrong Ashley. <laughs> so that's her name. I expected something more extravagant. Well, referring to the fact that it could be a reference to, well, Ashley. But, eh. <laughs> My name is Axel. By the way, have you ever been accused of witchcraft? Before I knew it, I asked that question. I guess it's rather rude for me, complete lacking in manners, but I must not forget that for even a second that I am in this cursed forest. Ashley suddenly becomes silent. At the plain sight, it was obvious she didn't take it well. She takes her time before responding. Yes, but that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, fair enough. Then she closes her eyes and exhales empty. <clears throat> emptying her lungs. <laughs> she seemed to be recalling something painful. Just seeing her made me feel guilty. I'm sorry. It was not my intention to make you remember it. 
I said, slightly remorseful. No doubt to be accused of witchcraft. Must have been a terrible experience. No shit. Okay. Let me just, uh... Okay. Whoo boy! Well then. Well, this is pretty interesting so far, so... Eh. Again, I'm kind of surprised you that... haven't fucked up yet. Wait, what? With the decisions, you haven't fucked up. Really? You've always <laughs> picked the right decisions. Well, considering the options were, I think, what was it so far? It was... Ignore the cat. Ignore escape, cat. Escape. Confront. Uh, the uh, killer. Uh, and we haven't gotten to the next one yet. Watch me fuck up on the last one on accident without realizing. No, we, we have another one, two, three. Well, I'm just doing three, the options five. in that where in my situation, I would probably do that. Like, we have, we have approximately five. Yeah. Like, the first one, which was, uh, what was it? It was ignore pick her up or, or ignore. I probably could help the cat if it was clearly fainted. I would at least check it out. Okay. So that's why I chose that one. Uh, that after, capture that the cat instead of a... kill her. Duh. Yeah. Uh, escape or oh, wait, confront. No, confront cat uh, instead of leaving it alone. Well, yeah, that was just me. Like, okay, there's no benefit because clearly there's a reoccurring thing. It's like, actually, oh, a, if I just left fun, it alone, it's probably gonna kill a, me. A fun fact with the escape from the cat one, basically the escape for cat or confront. That is the only other good end, mm -hmm. other than like the main endings. Because it's not a bad end. Which is kind of nice, actually. Okay. <laughs> it was like, oh, is this actually uh, that? And there's also something else that happens there, which is other. Okay, of whatever. End. Don't spoil anything for me yet. Or the viewers, no. actually. So. Eh. No, I'm just going to say it's a good end and leave it at that. Yep, okay. We can, Ashley, we can go show it okay. at the end. Okay. Yep. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple times. <clears throat> it's okay. It's not like I can blame you, your curiosity, seeing where we are. No shit. Also, that's a nice side pose draw. That's actually really nice. That's another thing I gotta compliment. The actual, like, artwork is actually pretty decent. It's not Done bad. Done by a single person. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, you can't admit. Yeah, you can admit. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Then she looks at me cur closely with curious eyes. By the way, how do you know about me? Perhaps... You are a sorcerer who has lived during these past centuries? She asked, narrowing her eyes as if try she was trying to see the inside of my mind. What kind of question was that? No, nothing like that. I answered at the moment. I'm just an ordinary person. I am my... Or are you? Da, da, da. <laughs> You're the protagonist. It's like the... It's like X-Files. Like, it's like X-Files. I fucking forget it, but whatever. You know the uh, meme. Yes. I admitted boring as if, but she didn't know to that. It's just that there are stories about witches in this forest. But as you can see, the stories are not very convincing, or else I wouldn't be here. I explained trying to remove any doubt that Ashley may have. I understand. Wait, I wasn't finished. So you're finished now. <laughs> no. Again, she closes her eyes and nods. I understand for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> she pauses and she looks at me in the eyes. It's because of those stupid mists that stupid humans come to this forest. Just like you. She then said, looking at me with rejection. Wait, what are you trying to say? We are to blame? Oh, well, hell yes. Yeah. Well, kind of, if you think about actual history. Yes. I replied, feeling offended. Ashley suddenly looks at me disgusted. Are you an idiot? Yes. If you had come, my existence would be nice and peaceful, instead of this chaos that it is every fucking year. Yay. She said, ending with a sigh of frustration. But you're the one who caused all this. I was quick to respond. I didn't even bother to hide my anger. I couldn't believe that what she says. How arrogant can she be? Ashley opens her eyes wide surprised that she looks at me with annoyance in her red eyes. Do you not understand 
Stupid human. Definitely, I don't like this girl. I'm only trying to protect you. Her words take me by surprise. Huh? <laughs> I explain, exclaimed incredulously. You attack me and my friends only to protect us? Yes. She simply replied at the same time. She nods, filled with pride and confidence. Okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here. I cannot believe how arrogant and self-centered this girl is. After everything she did to me and my friends, I can't stand her any longer. Wait! <laughs> and only taken a few steps when I heard her calling me. She sounds really worried. You don't understand the real danger you're in here. I'm guessing there's fucking monsters on some shit. I'm just ah, No. No, there's something else. I stop in my tracks as soon as I hear her. Real danger? I whispered, feeling some doubts. Suddenly I shiver. It doesn't look like she's lying. Yes, I try to chase them away using illusions. Other times, I hit them with my powers. I hit them. And as a last resort, I scare them directly, as it was in your case. Ashley confessed, blushing a little, as if she felt embarrassed of remembering. And why do you do that? I ask, confused. Something isn't right here. Ashley stares at me with her red eyes. If they continue with their curiosity, they will meet an evil entity that will take their lives. Is it the Grim Reaper death from the Smash Direct? He <laughs> <laughs> <You> killed Luigi. <laughs> the plot twist. What you say doesn't sound very convincing. I immediately interrupted. The only evil entity here is you. Ashley shakes her head in denial. You are wrong. I am the good one. She said, looking into my eyes with a pure innocence in hers. <laughs> I could only laugh at that comment. It had to be a joke. I say, looking at the character like an, he's an idiot. After doing all that, you say you're good? Don't laugh, I'm just trying to protect you. She re replied Ashley, furious while waving her arms. She then crosses her arms and gives me an unpleased look. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that? I replied sarcastically. What she said made no sense, but somehow she seemed oddly convinced that it was the truth. She was surely a bit wrong in the head. But it's true. You have to believe me. This time she sounds really worried about me. I actually feel a little sorry for her. Ashley then stays silent, looking at me with puppy eyes. However, she soon recovers her proud attitude. Hold it. What did you click? What? Because, but it's true, you have to believe me. This time she sounds really worried about me. I actually feel sorry for her. Then should I trust in her? Uh, I'm at the part where it says, if you want, hold my hand. Yeah, you basically you clicked on something really quickly. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh, my lord. Well, Great, now I have to figure out which one you're at. <laughs> shit. Oh, you you hit trust, uh, trust her, okay. Uh, what was the other option? Uh, doubt. Okay, I would have done that anyway. Okay. If you want, hold my hand. I won't harm you. She suddenly says. I look carefully at her. She has a very arrogant face, as if it was a great honor to be able to touch her. You won't do anything strange? I ask distrustful. But after seeing her again, I do not think she is lying. Ashley nods full of confidence. I promise. Oh, sorry. Whatever. I promise you. There you go. Yep. I stare at her for a few seconds, making sure there isn't a trap. Okay, but why do you want me to hold your hand? I ask at the same time. I, ex I ask at the same time I extend my hand. Ashley opens her eyes, surprised after hearing my question. She then stares at me with annoyance. 
Are you stupid? Obviously to guide you out of the forest. She says she takes my hand in one quick move. I then find myself being dragged by this strange girl. But this is the opposite way from where the melodious voice comes. I said, looking back for a second. I felt really curious about who she was. You ignore that voice. It charms men to make them her victims. Think of it as a siren. Okay. Ashley explained in a bad mood, with her eyes always looking to the front. It seemed she didn't get along well with whoever that person or entity was. Wouldn't you be able to want to be the one who collects the souls of fools? I asked without thinking. I seriously need more experience than dealing with a girl. When dealing with a girl. If only I were more popular. Ashley stops suddenly, then turns her at me, showing me a furious face. You idiot! I already set up the good one! For a moment, I thought she was going to hit me on the head. Unfortunately, she stopped before doing so, or biting me again. Okay, okay. I meekly responded as if I were a scolded child. But if you eat me, I will make sure I give you the worst indigestion of your life. You idiot, I don't eat humans. Replied Ashley, ending with an arrogant snort. 3, 11, 3 a. M. M. Big Apple. Uh, Central. Central Daylight Time. Ooh. Several minutes had passed since I started to walk hand in hand with Ashley. At the beginning, I did not trust her at all, but the more time passed, the easier it was to believe her. No shit, she's the only other person here. <laughs> I hadn't noticed before how comfortable her hand is, soft and pleasant to the touch. I blushed just thinking about it, but if she is a witch, she's a girl too, right? Technically. Then I sigh. Or is she a woman? Technically, again, yes. Come on, <laughs> Axel, composure, composure. With every step, the curse of the forest seemed to weaken. The atmosphere felt less oppressive every mo minute until finally I was able to forget about that unpleasant feeling. Before I noticed, the darkness had returned to normal, feeling only empty. The rotten smell also had disappeared without a trace. Now I could really say I was in co a common and ordinary forest, even boring. But I could not be more grateful for that. Just a little more to get out, so let's keep going. Then I set my sight on the back of Ashley, watching her walk in silence. She was completely focused on that simple thing. If you're the witch from the legend, why are you helping me? I suddenly ask, not thinking twice before it. I was really intrigued by that. Ashley stops and turns with me with an angry face. Idiot, do you really think that all witches are evil? She was right. The general images of witches are is not good. But it's not as if stereotypes were truthful. She then closes her eyes, think making an annoyed face. It's true I had supernatural powers, but I never used them to do harm. I guess that's fair. Ashley lowers her sight and then pauses. Suddenly she looks sad. My only sin was to be born in the time of the witch hunts. That's why I was condemned. That explains it well. I feel like that I can be I can trust she is good. But there's still one more question. And how did how did you end up becoming a cat? Ashley immediately blushes. She was so embarrassed that it was almost adorable, almost. Well, before my execution, there was a cat watching in the distance. So I decided to trench my soul into it. She explained, avoiding looking into my eyes. But of course, we now share the body. We have like a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it has something to eat and a place to sleep. I try to provide for her with all those needs. And in return, she lets me stay in her body. She talks. As she talks, she is blushing shyly. I see. I think that is it's a fair deal. I replied with a sincere smile. The truth is that I found it a little funny. It turns out that she is both a girl and a cat. I told you! That answers some questions. 
Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple times. When she wants to, she can look very cute. Too bad that happens so rarely. Well, you only met her for like 30 minutes. Uh, it's been about an hour at this point. Whatever. Either way. Not saying more, Ashley continues walking to the exit. This time, I stay in the distance. All that remains for me is to escape from this place. 3.15 a.m. Big Apple. Universal time. Okay, then. Well, here we are. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ashley said just a few minutes after we talked. She isn't lying. I see the end of the forest in the distance. I had to contain my desire to scream with joy at that moment. There must be two... There must be two other humans close here. Your friends? Go with them and return home. I hope that nobody else comes tonight. Ashley said, giving me a subtle farewell, but strangely, she does not let go of my hand. She looks deep into my eyes. Amazed, I notice the gentleness that reflects on them. Can you make me a promise? Ooh. She suddenly said with an honest voice. It was no joke. What is it? I asked, full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a witch, but after helping me to escape, I think she deserves me to... That she deserves me to hear her request. Okay. End this legend. She then murmured with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she asked for something like this. I want you to help me to keep people away. The legend only attracts more people, as in your case. I need to kill it and replace it. Supernatural danger with human danger. A human name. A human it's... danger? <laughs> so you want to it. scare them with ordinary dangers as thieves or ferocious animals? On second thought, there is a logic in what you asked. If you remove the element of magic and only leave the danger, then exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nods and looks into my eyes, blushing. Yes, exactly. She so said, pleased. Okay, I'll do it. You can rely on me. I responded with determination. I wanted her to know how serious I was. That it was not a promise I would forget as soon as I got out of the forest. Lies! Thank you. Then she closes her eyes momentarily and inflates her chest with pride. You aren't as stupid as I thought. I should have expected something like that. Hey, I told you not to talk ill of someone when they're in front of you. I complained angrily. This cat, I mean, this girl, well, th this kid, th oh. whatever, simply will never change. After seeing my reaction, uh, reaction, Ashley can't help, cannot help but laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen her so happy. That made me blush. Ashley looked unexpectedly adorable at that moment. My heart was nervously beating as if... It was with a normal girl. Sun oh no. Suddenly she stares at me and gets so close her face is less than an inch from mine. Again, she demonstrates not knowing what personal space is. But this time, I don't know whether to be ang angry or thankful. Having her so close, a beautiful girl makes me very nervous. This is the farewell. She suddenly said. Then she brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss. Ooh. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Naughty. Everything becomes white at that moment. Everything loses its color. Everything is gone. Everything. Everything. 3.18 a.m. He was like fucking drug induced. Newfoundland time. He just got fucking like drug induced and I fucking knocked the fuck out or some shit. With I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea how I made it here, but this is no illusion. I'm bewildered, as if I have been sleepwalking. Oh, look, it's in Spanish. Axel! Axel! Suddenly I hear someone calling my name. But it's not any strange voice. It's the voices of my friends who are looking for me. Hey, over here! I shout without a second of hesitation, with a bit of clumsiness because of my confusion. Soon they found me and impatiently run towards me. Where were you? The worry was killing us! 
Steven said with a face that I don't remember having ever seen before. Wait, what? Before answering, I rubbed my forehead. Within the forest, I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something, but before that, I had... I interrupt him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is, is that we are all safe. Yes, you're right. Hey, don't you feel like you're you're forgetting something? Alfred murmured at the same time he lowers his sight pensive. Suddenly a blurry vi image appears in my mind. It was white and bright. I can't remember more. However, that weak memory awakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in me. It was as if I had lost something, but what could it be? Anyway, we should go home. This has gone too far for a test of courage, I said with no intention of spending more than one minute in this forest. They both agree with me, but nothing else to say. We can only return home. By the way, guys, we should write that on a... Bleh. Sorry. <laughs> By the way, guys, we should write on that page to not go to the forest. Forget about the witches. Somebody might get lost there, as it happened to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with that beast lurking around. Before knowing it, my lips move. Why did I say that? I have no idea, but something inside inspired me to do so. To be honest, I have no idea memory of the beast I speak of. All I remember is that it had red eyes and white fur, but... Nothing more. Then I remember something. I think it was a promise I made to... Wait, to whom I had made that promise? Oh, I see what they did. I think about it for a moment in silence, and in the end, I can't remember a thing. No matter, all I know is that I got out and I'll never come back here again. Finn. Hey! Bye. That is not a good end. Oh, come on. That is not one of the true endings. Well, then. Okay. Uh, because uh, at the part where you uh, you should trust her, you're actually meant to doubt. Oh. You have gotten the ending, Forgotten Adventure. Well, then. Which is one of the longer ones. You didn't get... Uh, I was kind of hoping you would pick uh, Doubt and, uh, so you could get uh, one of the ones that is actually like really grim but <laughs> nah we get the, one like, of the most on. boring one I'm assuming uh, if you want to do the most boring one uh, I believe it's simply ignoring the cat <laughs> that's it uh, yeah you get unknown aggressor uh, that's that ending. It's basically it is basically the equivalent of you show up at the end of the game where like basically normally where the end would normally happen uh, really early on and you kill. Oh, yeah. Done. That That's it. There's no real like really incredible thing to it. It's very, very boring. Kind of makes sense. It's the first bad end. OK. OK. So question is, is do we want to continue this? It's been about over an hour, so... Yeah, we take... Um, I think maybe we could do another part? Maybe? If you want to do another part, I could... Yeah. Uh, we could try to do uh, one of the other endings. Yeah, we could do another one of the endings. We will obviously like, not ignore the... We could do some of the quicker endings, like we could ignore the cat, see what happens. Yeah. And run through that. Like, actually, no, just... Lead me away from bad endings, basically. So we can do all the, the bad the, ones. There's in, like, only one, one other bad ending, and then after that, it's the tr two true, uh, the two extra endings. That one is technically a bad end, but it's actually a proper end. So okay. So how many bad endings are left? Well, Let's we see. could do one of the better endings, and then we could do a, a bad. Let's end. see. Uh, surviving the cat's attack is one. Uh, an eye for an eye, I think, is another one. Uh, the last sacrifice is one of the bad ends. Yep. Then you got the two true endings, and then the secret true ending. Okay. Alright. 
So, we're gonna leave this off here, and we're gonna slowly figure out what we're gonna do. Next time, we're just gonna keep going through this. This will probably be released uh, sometime in October, obviously. It might just, like, take up... Like, I'm thinking... whatever. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll probably post it on Twitter. Also, be sure to follow uh, Color Mist on Twitter and YouTube. He does a lot of other good content that's not as, uh, like, uh, what is it? He's doing, uh, right now, he does a lot of base race in Minecraft. He does, uh, we're doing Soul Link together. That's posted on his channel. And he's also doing a lot of other future stuff, which I'm not going to name yet. In case it doesn't yeah, there's, go up. Uh, there's something that's uh, actually the uh, one future thing. Uh, something else. Uh, Okami HD will be coming back. It will likely come back Woo! on. Uh, it will probably be either Tuesdays or it could be on, on uh, Sundays. It will be in a live stream format. So I'll be doing it over on my Twitch.tv page, www forward slash color uh, color gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, it'll be done there. It will show up on my YouTube channel as well, uh, yep. eventually. Okay. So, with that in mind, we'll see you all in the next episode. Have fun, kitties. Bye. Never mind, that's actually <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> all right, just see you guys next time. Have a spooky night. Bye. Yes. Okay, bye.